Twitter. Now, earlier this week, we spent a big part of our show talking about the protests, you know, the ones that have been happening on and off in Portland for about a year now. We wanted to know who are the protesters? Why are they out there specifically? What do they want? What do they want to see happen? Well, tonight, let's look at the police side of things. They've made thousands of arrests. Many of those cases have been dropped, but not all of them, like arson or attempted murder. After looking through those more serious cases, investigative reporter Kyla Boshi found something pretty interesting and concerning for some civil rights advocates. Police have infiltrated the protests. An undercover informant, plainclothes FBI agents, tactics typically used in drug cases or serious crimes, are being used by police monitoring protests in Portland according to court records. And civil rights attorneys fear this police surveillance may violate the right to free speech. I think it has a substantial chilling impact on First Amendment speech. J. Ashley Albies, a civil rights attorney in Portland, worries the tactic may deter law-abiding citizens from participating in demonstrations and undermine trust between law enforcement and the community. Knowing that there are police undercover um, and, and not knowing who they are is, is also designed to sow distrust amongst demonstrators that are out there. On April 13th, Portland police declared a riot after demonstrators threw fireworks and set a fire at the Portland Police Association building. Officers arrested one person, 19-year-old Alma Raven Guido. Court records later revealed that an unnamed informant within the crowd helped identify Raven Guido, who is facing charges of arson, criminal mischief, and riot. The informant has no criminal convictions, has a history of providing credible and reliable information on multiple prior investigations, explained a fire lieutenant in court papers. It's not clear how often or under what circumstances Portland Police uses informants to monitor protests. Portland Police directives define an informant as an individual working for a member in an undercover status. Confidential informants can be paid or work for case consideration, leniency. The people handling those informants have to adhere to guidelines and training. Mike Levine is a retired DEA supervisory officer and undercover specialist. He used to be uh, in prosecutions, they wanted, they did not like informants because, well, let's face it, the average, most informants are criminals with dirtbag records. Court records indicate Portland police have also relied on plainclothes FBI agents to infiltrate and monitor recent demonstrations in Portland. On October 11th, prosecutors said FBI agents in plain clothes watched a man use a metal baton to smash out the windows of the Oregon Historical Society. Portland State University, and many other businesses. The FBI agents then relayed information about the suspect to Portland police according to court records. 24-year-old Malik Muhammad is facing felony charges for the vandalism, along with attempted aggravated murder charges for two different incidents where he allegedly threw lit Molotov cocktails at police. It's definitely not a new tactic. Jillian Snyder, a retired NYPD officer who teaches criminal justice, explained, Using undercover police to monitor large public protests is a long-standing practice. The tactic allows police to monitor protest movements and, if necessary, root out those committing violent criminal acts. There's a reason for it. They're going there to ensure that the protest remains peaceful because everyone has a right to protest as long as we remain peaceful at it. Having a uniformed officer in the crowd might incite anger, especially during anti-police rallies. So if they use plainclothes officers, it could lessen the recognizability of them, but still allow them safely and from a distance to monitor what's going on at the protests. Civil rights lawyers argue there should be greater transparency and accountability if police continue to infiltrate protest crowds. Well, I think it, it certainly increases the, the fear and mistrust and distrust of the government. We reached out to Portland police for comment. They acknowledged our request, but couldn't provide a comment prior to deadline due to limited staffing. We also reached out to the FBI. The FBI declined to comment on any specific case or activity. In a statement, the FBI said, Our efforts are solely focused on identifying, investigating, and disrupting individuals who are inciting violence and engaging in criminal activity. The FBI went on to say it respects the rights of people to peacefully exercise free speech. Our focus is not on peaceful protesters, but on those threatening their safety and the safety of others with violence and destruction of property. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.